Hey guys, this is Jaden from iJailbreak.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Maps application on the new iPad from the ISO 6 beta firmware. So Apple announced the ISO 6 firmware which includes a whole whack load of new features including uh, improved Siri functionality, um, a new clock setup for the iPad and a whole bunch of other things that we'll kind of get into in future videos. But as this video is kind of more dedicated towards the Maps app, that's what we're going to get into here. Um, so we'll get started right away. Um, before we dive right into the new Maps app though on the new iPad, we're just going to take a look at the Maps application on the ISO 5 firmware, just on the iPhone here, just to kind of show you how much things have really changed here. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty standard really, obviously that you guys know what the new Maps application looks like, or you should. Um, I'm going to switch to satellite view. Pretty bog standard, it's powered by Google, everyone's used to this. We get directions over here to various routes, pinpoint our location, and um, again, we can show traffic. We can drop ins and all that. Um, so, we'll switch over to the ISO 6 mass up now. Launch the iPad up here. Launch maps up. All right, so right at the bat, you can see that the Maps application ISO 6 has been totally redesigned. It's actually not even powered by Google anymore. It has a, ver a various mixture of technologies, um, some of Apple's own in-house technologies, TomTom Tom Maps, Bing integration, and there's a whole bunch of other kind of companies that have made this app possible that you can kind of read about by clicking the link there. But um, in my opinion, you can see that uh, everything just looks a lot more clear. It's easier to kind of make out streets. Um, my opinion, it's a lot better. When I first saw the screenshots for ISO 6 Maps application and the WWDC presentation, I wasn't really a fan. I didn't think it was a. Uh, I just didn't think it looked as good. But uh, after actually inspecting it and using it, um, it's actually a lot easier on the eye and easier to make out where you want to actually get to. And of course, it comes with a whole bunch of new functionality we're going to get into in this video. So um, I'll show you some of that new functionality now. Um, obviously, we have the show traffic feature, which. Uh, Yes, it's featured in the Google Maps app, but this is a lot more accurate. So it's going to light up in red and um, kind of orange in areas that you should avoid. And what's kind of cool about this is um, if it detects that an area that you want to go to that you're navigating to is a high traffic area, it'll suggest you alternative routes, which is pretty nice. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same as your functional on the side here. Um, obviously, the Maps and ISO 6 comes with turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, so the Maps application will actually speak to you, which is extremely handy. I know a lot of people want that in ISO 5. Um, but I know the feature that I think has been most talked about and a lot of people want to see is the actual 3D aspect to this. And I have to say it's extremely impressive. Um, I know watching this video probably won't do it as much justice as just how, real, how innovative it is. But if you actually get a chance to uh, either test the beta version, which is on my iPad right now, you'll see it's it's really it's just amazing. It's very amazing. It's there's nothing quite that compares to it. So switch over to satellite view. As you can see here, it's kind of it's pretty much the same as Google's. Just a nice satellite view here. We're gonna switch to a different city. Three three D maps isn't supported in all areas, especially not Canada, um, like Vancouver. I did a quick look over there, and it's not supported at all. But if we go to Chicago or kind of an area in the United States where Apple's had a chance to actually um, collect 3D data about it, you can actually um, see kind of how impressive the technology is. So to actually switch to 3D mode, we're going to press the 3D button on the side here. And there we go. Building start to come to life. You can see the skyscrapers here. We'll zoom in. Definitely jumping off the screen here. Oh. There you go, the first crash. Sign that's a beta firmware, not an original public release yet. Go back to Chicago here. All right. So as we can see, we type in Chicago, and um, we're instantly going to be rotated around our area, which is pretty neat. I'll just show you guys. Let, let the mouse up do its thing here. So we're getting a rotation, kind of a nice tour around Chicago. It's almost like we're taking a helicopter ride through the city. It really is like if you actually have a chance to interact with this, it's extremely it's versatile. It's it's pretty hard to explain. Um, so you can zoom uh, zoom down here. Let's go. Can make out the buildings in more detail. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And I'll show you guys that we can actually rotate by simply using two fingers and kind of moving our hands around in circular motion, which is pretty neat. Get different views of buildings. Um, we can also change our vertical. Position here, we can come kind of more down to uh, 
side view or an overtop view. It really is pretty impressive. Um, obviously, no one's had a chance to test out Google's new 3D maps, but I have a feeling that Apple's is going to be a lot more detailed. Switch over to hybrid and kind of show you how we'll see streets come up here being labeled. There you go. So you go, so streets are again, it's just like you're kind of in the standard view, except we're opened up to all the 3D models of all the skyscraper buildings. We see major highways in Chicago. So that's pretty much the 3D functionality. Again, you really need to try it for yourself to understand how, really just how neat it is. Like I said, it's almost like you're taking a helicopter ride over the city. It's really that detailed, especially on the new iPad with the Retina display. It's pretty crisp. So I guess another functionality that I'll just demo quickly is kind of the turn-by-turn -turn commands. So obviously I'm, again, I'm from Vancouver. So let's take, sure, let's take a trip from Vancouver to Chicago. Let's see. Oh, not available. All right. Let's go current location. Just go to Vancouver City. So we're gonna switch away from 3D maps here in a sec because there's no point being in it. All right. So switch back to standard view. All right. So as you can see here, we have some. It's actually gonna speak to us, so it's a lot easier to navigate and use as more of a GPS unit. There's not really any reason that you need to purchase. Uh, third-party application like TomTom Tom now because it's going to speak to you once you start actually navigating and kind of give you really nice step-by-step -step directions. Another feature that I demo quickly is just how Siri actually integrates with the new Maps application. So if I ask Siri, for example, where's the nearest gas station, it'll instantly give me directions here. So where's the nearest gas station? Looking for gas stations. All I found right. 20 gas stations. So we can pick from a list of gas stations here. Um, let's just shell Canada, for example. And um, it's instantly going to come up and try to give us directions from our current location to where the gas station is. Um, gets a little bit slower now, I'm not really sure why, but uh, it works very well. Um, it's nice for hands free when you're driving. You can just kind of speak to your phone or your iPad and then it'll give you directions just like any kind of other either physical GPS unit or uh, GPS uh, like the TomTom Tom applications. So there you have it, that's the new Maps application that's coming in the ISO 6 firmware. It's where that's coming in the fall. Um, if you're a developer obviously you can get the beta version get it early. But again, it's, it is buggy. Um, you saw before it crashed and then we've also had some problems with uh, Siri being slow so um, I suggest just waiting for the public release. and. Um, yeah, make sure you let us know what you think of the new Maps application in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.